Hello everybody and welcome back to part 2 of our uh, transient thermal tutorial in ANSYS where we'll be dealing with uh, heat transfer between a wrench and a bolt. Okay, now uh, to start our analysis, uh, let's uh, uh, just delete the rest of the uh, uh, bolt and this is the second part that we did uh, last time because it will need more computational power and uh, uh, and this is required when uh, meshing and uh, we don't have uh, this uh, uh, wide uh, range of uh, computational power since we are working on uh, the student uh, uh, version and we have limited uh, limited uh, number of elements and it will require also a special type of meshing because it's uh, like many elements uh, inside uh, each other so we will have to deal with it in another way and I will show you this in uh, later tutorials so don't worry about it but for now let's just uh, stick to the case we have let's just assign a temperature on the face of the bolt and let's see the temperature distribution how it will uh, look like on the rest of the wrench so now let's go and double click on model now here we should assign, uh, we must assign a, a thickness for the surface bodies, uh, let's say 0.1 for each one, so that we will avoid uh, errors uh, when we uh, solve. And now uh, you can also uh, assign materials for each one, I will stick to structural steel for the default. Uh, and for the mesh, uh, this is the default, but uh, I don't think we can uh, generate such mesh because we are limited to certain number of elements which are uh, which is bounded uh, because of uh, the, the version we are using. So now let's uh, uh, let's make it uh, three centimeters, which is three hundred millimeters. Okay, uh, and let's uh, go to a transient uh, thermal. Initial temperature, we will keep it the same, 22 degrees Celsius. Analysis, uh, let's uh, make the number of steps 10. Okay, and uh, let's go to click also on transient thermal and let's insert a temperature. And this temperature will be assigned for the surface of the uh, bolt. So, uh, uh, click apply and uh, let's make it uh, 120 degrees. Okay, so uh, let's go to solution and uh, click on thermal, click on temperature, and let's uh, see the solution of temperature distribution on the uh, whole body. So let's click solve and uh, see the results. Okay, here we go. This is the result, and as you see, this part. Uh, is uh, still on the uh, initial temperature heat didn't reach here but uh, like this part you can see that heat is spreading the temperature uh, distribution can uh, show us uh, how uh, heat is uh, uh, varying so uh, this is the result here and uh, you can also uh, for example if you want uh, you can also add uh, heat flux to the solution if you want to see or directional heat uh, flux so it depends on what you want to monitor and here so if you click here on temperature and uh, this is an animation uh, which is generated by default so you click play and you see how uh, the uh, temperature uh, is uh, traveling with time so here you see it and you can also go to then if you want to stop it you go to uh, graph and then click uh, on stop thank you very much for watching and see you in the later tutorials